On October 24, 2024, the South Korean Agency for Defense Development ADD, made a significant announcement at the Seishin Air Show, unveiling a new supersonic air-to-surface missile. This missile comes at a critical time as concerns over delays in weapons integration have hindered the export competitiveness of domestic fighter jets like the F-A-50 and the KF-21. The introduction of this missile, however, could bolster the international standing of Korean defense exports. The newly unveiled missile is designed for aircraft deployment and can accurately strike essential ground targets from a long distance. It shares similarities with missiles such as the Kion Ryong, developed by LIG Nex-1, and Germany's Taurus, both of which serve comparable purposes. What sets this missile apart is its impressive speed, reaching up to Mach 2.5, approximately 3,000 km per hour. This supersonic capability makes it significantly harder for enemy defenses to detect and intercept, especially compared to subsonic air-to-surface missiles that typically travel at speeds between 700 and 1,100 km per hour. With a range of 300 km, the missile can engage its targets within about 5 minutes of launch, drastically reducing reaction time for adversaries. Stealth technology is also anticipated to be integrated into the missile, further enhancing its low detectability by enemy radar systems. A standout feature of this missile is its duct ramjet engine. This advanced propulsion system merges the benefits of both jet and rocket engines, utilizing atmospheric oxygen rather than carrying an onboard oxidizer. This innovation simplifies the missile's design while allowing for longer burn times and higher speeds, outpacing conventional jet engines. Additionally, the missile boasts a modular design that enables it to perform various functions. By swapping out specific modules, it can be configured to target either ground installations or enemy naval vessels. Its seeker systems, which include radar and electro-optical-slash-infrared (EO/IR) capabilities, enhance the missile's ability to strike accurately across different weather conditions and amid electronic countermeasures. While the missile displayed at the air show was a test model, it signifies a critical advancement in South Korea's defense capabilities. Typically, weapons meant for aircraft integration require extensive software development and flight testing leading to considerable costs. To streamline this process, ADD has been employing test models for preliminary drop and flight trials. According to ADD's data, development of the missile began in 2022, with full operational capability expected by 2026. Flight tests are slated to commence in 2025, utilizing the F-A-50 light combat aircraft as the testing platform. Key defense contractors, including Hanwha Aerospace and Korea Aerospace Industries, KI, are actively involved in the missile's development. Once integrated with the F-A-50, this supersonic air-to-surface missile will significantly enhance the aircraft's capabilities, providing a competitive edge in the export market. The F-A-50 and the KF-21 will be among the few platforms globally to deploy such advanced munitions, as rival aircraft like the F-16V and JAS-39E Gripen are limited to subsonic air-to-surface missiles. While France's Rafale can carry supersonic missiles, they are typically armed with nuclear warheads, making them unsuitable for export. Countries that have already acquired the F-A-50, such as Poland, are likely to show interest in this new missile. The South Korean Air Force ROCAF first deployed the F-A-50 in 2014, with a total order of 60 units, while other nations, including Iraq and the Philippines, have also integrated the F-A-50 into their fleets. Several additional countries, including Thailand, Malaysia, and various others in Europe, Africa, and Asia, have either purchased or expressed interest in the F-A-50. This interest often includes considerations for joint production and advanced tactical applications. With its multi-purpose capabilities and cost-effective production potential, the new supersonic air-to-surface missile is set to enhance South Korea's military strength while also expanding its defense export opportunities. The possibility of adapting the missile for ship-based or ground-based systems, similar to Taiwan Sungfong-3 supersonic missile, could further replace older subsonic anti-ship missiles. In conclusion, the introduction of this supersonic air-to-surface missile marks a significant upgrade in the F-A-50's capabilities, potentially transforming South Korea's position in the global defense market while reinforcing its military readiness.